Well, what's going on, everybody? Kitchen Table TCG back at it again with another market update. This one is welcome to read. Uh, I am super excited. Tonight we're going to be live streaming. Actually, it's going to be in about two hours at nine o'clock Eastern uh, with five content creators. We're doing an ultimate pit fight. Uh, you've heard about it. Uh, it's going to be sweet. So uh, check it out right here or go to one of those other uh, content creators. I'll leave a link in the, uh, the comment section down below. Uh, but quick shout out to all my patrons. Uh, patrons get access to all the data that you see in all these market update videos. Uh, you, you know the drill by now, but I have to show for myself. It's it's no big deal. It'll take two seconds. Uh, and, you know, uh, my patrons get access to a collection tracker that has access to all this information. And uh, if you can see down here, I've even got it set up for Monarch First, Monarch Unlimited, uh, Kingdoms, and also the promos, which I'm still working on updating all the prices for, but uh, th those will kind of be in there every now and then. So they get a collection tracker, they get individual collection trackers, all sorts of stuff plus uh, access to a Discord community that's really, really growing and been really cool to play games with. We're actually doing our first event uh, tomorrow night. It'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, patrons, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you immensely. Also, a really big shout out to Mitch over at the Midtown Merchant. Uh, Mitch and Andrew over there have a fantastic website. And uh, yeah, Mitch actually just put a bunch of alpha cards up there today. Uh, so make sure you go check that out and use uh, the promo code JUSTLOVE10 if you haven't already. Patrons get access to a monthly promo code as well. Um, but Mitch is a great dude. We have some great conversations. I just really enjoy working with him. Uh, but if you can't find the cards that you're looking for there, uh, make sure that you head over to TCG Player and you can use the link that's in my description of my channel uh, and that helps the channel out. Unfortunately, you don't save any money with that. So make sure you shop from Mitch first. Okay, so there's all the shilling. Uh, we talked about the live stream tonight. Let's get into a talking about uh, welcome to Wrath, and we're gonna go with Unlimited first because I really feel like that's the you know most interesting to you and to players. So uh, we'll get into Alpha. There's a lot of good stuff for Alpha that going on. Uh, boxes, I'm putting it at 115 down a little bit from last week. I mean, you, you know what? Boxes are all over the place, honestly. One sold. Who bought this for one hundred and fifty-seven dollars? It's ridiculous. Uh, one hundred and seven dollars was you know shown. I think TCG players at like one fifteen. Don't pay over one twenty for a box. Uh, honestly, don't pay that high. Uh, just wait it out. Uh, wait till some some of the stores on the Facebook group get their you know compete sports and some of the stores uh, get their allocations back and get more product in uh, and you should see boxes more in the eighty ninety dollar range uh, maybe push into a hundred but uh, if you need a box now I would not pay more than hundred and fifteen for the box. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Fabled. The Heart of Fandel. I actually purchased the Heart of Fandel this week, everybody. So uh, just so you know that, I I, uh, I traded. Uh, thank you to the, to the awesome dude who uh, who allowed me to trade towards that. I uh, hooked up with some, some stuff. Uh, let's go to the sales for it, though, so you don't just take my word for it. Uh, so we when I traded, I traded, I think, I don't remember exactly what we said. It had a little dink on the bottom, so I think we went with 550 I don't remember exactly. Uh, but I kind of got the value this week at 575 there was a sale at 500 that was the best offer, but then there were two at kind of 590, 600. So I put it at 575. Uh, you can do with that what you please. Uh, it's down just a little bit from last week, but uh, you know we're still uh, we're still up over the last couple weeks. We had this huge purchase at 700, and now we we've, we've kind of trailed down a little bit. But uh, all in all, in this year we're still we're still pretty high. So Heart of Fandale, I think that completes my collection for WTR. So pretty cool. All right, let's get to the legendary scabskin leathers and tectonic plating sitting around 95. Uh, there were some of these available at 75 early this week. And uh, I actually saw a guy in, I don't remember where it was. It might've been my discord channel who was like, Hey, I'm buying all the legendaries that are 75 bucks because that's ridiculous. Uh, so the scabskin and tectonic plating up at 95. I saw some, uh, some sold listings for on eBay and on TCG player as well. And uh, sorry, I didn't have these dates in here. And uh, so, you know, oops, see, I shouldn't try to fix things while I'm, I'm recording. Uh, and tectonic plating, 95, the mask of momentum is, is seeing a lot of value shift this week. We're up like 25 bucks on the mask. Uh, I actually know two people who are looking for one this week and uh, they both purchased them as well. And then the Brave Forge Bracers, that one it was kind of bizarre. There was one sold listing on eBay, I believe for a hundred bucks, but then there were kind of two at 140. So I tried to split it right down the middle. So uh, I put it at 125. 
I don't I don't always know what to do with those outliers. I, I know I could probably just ditch them, but I, I feel like I have to be honest with you guys about what I see. So, and then the spring tunic. I actually sold a spring tunic this week. I sold it for uh, one ninety five. Uh, you know that's TCG player minus like the ten percent uh, because TCG player had it for like two hundred two fifteen and uh, eBay had it like you know two hundred two fifteen so about two ten I would say is really the market price and then of course on Facebook you can always get yourself a little bit of a better deal uh, your average oh I don't even have a thing here the, well, who runs this channel you know what I mean like who runs this let's show you a chart uh, your chart looks like that right so it went up it went down and now we're we're kind of trailing back up towards. Uh, towards the more increased value. These prices, you know, at the beginning of the year uh, could have been due to box prices. And now we're starting to potentially uh, get a restock in February. So uh, I think we'll start seeing this even out, but who knows? Uh, all right, let's go to the Majestic Rainbow Foils. Really like last week we had a 9% increase and this week we had a 9% decrease. So this is just typical market movement. The Enlightened Strike is the one I wanted to highlight. And I can confirm this. I also purchased an Enlightened Strike this week to finish my collection because you know my channel. Uh, we can't get one for myself. So uh, I purchased a Foil Enlightened Strike for 115 on eBay. Uh, when I purchased it for that, the lowest sold listing was 135 uh, And I got my offer accepted at 115 So I don't know if that drove the market down. But on TCG Player now, there have been some additional sales at 115 and uh, I saw some other ones sell at 115 on eBay. So uh, if you were looking for an e-strike, you're welcome to me, uh, from me to for getting that uh, that price down for you. Uh, and all in all, a 9% decrease. A lot of that is in the e-strike. Everything else is sitting pretty pretty even. You know, Tome is down a little bit, but again, last week it was up. And uh, Ancestral Empowerment actually is down quite a bit. That was on TCG Player. But some of the other ones are up. So it's you know kind of all over the place. All in all, down 9%. Uh, Spinal Crush, no change. Blood Rush Bellow, really no change. Alpha Rampage, really no change. You can see the graph, right? These have been inc like incredibly stable. And we talked about that with ARC, too. Like, I'm amazed at how stable these cards have been. All right, the regular Majestic, the non-foil. Again, super... I mean, look at that. Look at that stability. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, w the stability of the, of the prices of the singles suggests that Legend Story Studios has the supply stuff kind of in the bag and kind of figured out. But I know we all want boxes to crack, but the singles market is super stable, guys. Like, for for Unlimited, it is super stable. All right, that, enough of my opinion. Uh, no huge changes here. Everything's kind of sitting. Your Enlightened Strike is at 62 bucks. Tome is at 30 That's up a little bit. But all in all, your average non-foil Majestic is sitting at 16 about 17 bucks. Your average Rainbow Foil is sitting at around $31. Let's go to the Super Rares. Uh, this is for the Rainbow Foil. Uh, lots of these don't have much value. Sand, you know, the Brute stuff really doesn't have a ton of value. Uh, but some of the, like the Mugenshi Release, that's still sitting at 5 bucks. Let's see. Uh, no huge changes here. I think all in all, minus 1% which really, uh, some of that is the Crazy Brew, which had been up a couple weeks in a row, uh, but now it's trailing back down. But really, there's it seems to be pretty stable in that regard. Uh, and your Remembrance is still your, your kind of Chase Super Rare foil at 12 bucks. All in all, your average foil Super Rare is about $4. And you can see we had spikes and valleys and spikes and valleys, and now we've kind of hit a plateau over the, the last couple of weeks. Your regular Super Rares... Uh, no, we had a 2% increase overall. Your remembrance is at nine bucks. Let's see, was there anything else that was, that was up just a little bit, I guess. Not huge. Really, again, like, these are so stable. Like, it's unbelievable how stable all these cards are. I guess it's not that unbelievable, right? We haven't had any, like, huge change in any metas or anything like that. And, uh, so, we, you know, if you look at the graph, it's gone down. It's gone, it's come and start to go up a little bit. We had a little bit of a valley here at the end of uh, January, but now we're starting to trail up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and go to, let's see, was that the foil? Where are we? No, that was the non-foil. Sorry. All right. Rainbow fo rare foils. Remember for the rares, uh, I just used TCG lowest listed. Uh, so there may be sales at lower than some of these prices throughout the week. I just don't look them all up. Uh, Sigil of Solace is, you know, it seems to be at about four bucks for the red one. Uh, that was a popular card because of the playmat, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of been there. I don't know why I said that. It's been that way. It's been high for a while. Uh, and then your Time Snap Potion, your Energy Potion, your Potion of Strength, 
all sitting pretty high too at like the seven to eight dollar range. Your red snatch, nothing else really carries too much value. Uh, your average price though is up about 3% for listed on TCG Player this week. Again, really stable in those prices. And then your rares, you know, not much value at all. You don't have too much value in your rares. Average is at 37 cents. Uh, time snap potion. You know, these sigils, again, this is the lowest listed, so I don't know what these are actually selling for. Uh, but energy potion, $1.50. I would guess that these are actually selling in like the $2 range, $2.50. So, uh, but these are up 10%. So it looks like people are starting to pick up some singles and sellers are running out of cards on TCG Player. You can see we had a huge dip down and now we had a plateau and now we're slowly kind of rising up on the, the rares. So hopefully that means that people are playing, more people are playing the game uh, and so they are picking up the singles that they need for their decks. All right, let's go to common rainbow foils. Your kind of equipment, no big changes. You know, 20 cent change there. Uh, 10 cent changer, no big changes, nothing's losing value. Uh, all in all on your commons, we are up 4%, nothing to write home about. So let's go ahead and get to our EV calc. Your average uh, box will have 42 rares, four foil rares, four super rares, one foil super rare, two majestics, and one in four box will have a foil majestic, and one in four box will have a chance at a legendary. And then one in 40 boxes has the fable. And so your average box, if you were to open 40 to 40 boxes, right? So that includes the fabled and all the, you know, the 10 legendaries, your average box would lock in at about $125.07 per box. But if you're only opening one box, you should expect that you won't hit the legendary and that you won't hit the fabled. So your box value would be sitting around $75. And now keep in mind that also includes selling all your rares, uh, which won't happen all at once. So. Let's go ahead and look at how that compared to last week. Let's see, one, what is it, 125.07. So the cards are actually up 3% uh, from this week to last week. Uh, and let's see what they did last week, I don't remember. Oh, they didn't move at all. So our cards are up 3% from last week. Last week they didn't really do anything. And uh, so interesting to see that cards are starting to drift back up. This is the highest price that cards have been since the middle of, uh, Sorry, the beginning of January. On the 9th, they were at 130 bucks. Uh, now they're at 125. So interesting to see all that. And now let's go ahead and move ourselves over to the alpha. Sorry, let's compare the 125 right to a box. Yeah, that's kind of what the whole thumbnail means in this video. Uh, so if we compare it to the box, you know, if you buy four boxes, you'd be sitting pretty close, right? If you buy 40 boxes, you'd be up. But I would say, you know, if you can open a case. I say go for it, open a case, do it, treat yourself, right? Treat yourself. All right, let's go to Alpha. All right, remember on all these things, I share my opinions in a podcast and I share facts that I see in the marketplace here. So I'm gonna to try to keep all my opinions out of it, but I'm also going to share with you the, the facts of what I saw in the marketplace this week. And it, that means that sometimes I have to take some guesses and I'll always share my guesses with you in this video and, and let you know where I'm guessing and let you know what was fact. So. Let's first off start with the uh, the seal. That, that podcast is at a more expensive tier of my patron so that uh, some of those big big timers, those people who are investing in the game, it's called If I Were Investing because I don't have the money to invest. Enough about the stupid podcast, Louie, talk about alpha. Okay, uh, so we had some awesome alpha box sales. Let's show you those. $4,000, $4,180 for a box of cardboard. I love it. Uh, all right, so let's show you those. Uh, 4,170 on eBay and 4,180 on eBay. Two boxes in a row. But, uh, one of them was a bidding war and one of them was a fixed price sale. So uh, kind of crazy. And the market just seems to be drying up on these boxes too. Less and less available to be purchased on eBay. So very interesting to see those moving up. That's up 11%, but we didn't have much movement the last couple weeks. It was kind of stuck at 3,700. 3, but now we're at $4,180. Look at that graph, guys. Whew. Man, if you were a stockbroker and you saw that graph, you would be sitting pretty right now, right? Okay. Let's go to the heart of Fandel, the alpha version. A huge sale this week. Man, record-breaking sale this week. Look at that. $19,000. On Saturday, some guy on Saturday afternoon at 6 a.m. on Saturday morning, Eastern time, said, you know what? I'm going to spend $19,000 on a Heart of Fayendale. 
from Ben Hughes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Um, but we also, you know, I lied. This was the BGS-9, so I guess there was more expensive ones sold. Uh, but these are all BGS graded. So this is kind of the raw card. So keep that in mind that there were, I forgot to mention that. I made jokes and I forgot to do the thing before I did the joke. So we actually had uh, this 30,000 Australian is sitting more like in the 24, I believe, 24,000. I did the math earlier, but I don't remember it. Uh, Australian dollars are less than uh, United States dollars. I think it's 70%, something like that. Uh, and this one sold for 25,000. So those are for BGS 9.5s or BGS 9s. Uh, but the non-graded raw card sold for 19000 So keep all that in mind. If you are buying one of these cards, do not use my my prices. Figure out your own <laughs> responsibility. Nobody would do that. All right, up 27%. But, I mean, I think, honestly, some of those sales, right? Like, that's a big number at, 35, at 25 grand. Right? And you, for a BGS 9, like, that's not even, like, the pristine mint condition one. So maybe I should have put it at 25, but... I didn't, so that's where it's at. Kind of crazy. All right, let's go to the legendaries. Legendaries are also moving up. Uh, Scabskin Leathers kind of seems to be the lowest valued one. There was, uh, I think, two sales for that one. Uh, but Tectonic Plating, I wanted to show you as well. I've got it at $1,400 because there was a sale at $1,300. There was a sale at $1,150. And there was a sale at $1,500. So I kind of tried to find the middle ground there which i felt was more like 1400 and it seems like all the ones on facebook marketplace currently are being asked 1400 for so that's where i put that price at and then the mask of momentum we had a sale at 1900 and brave forge bracers at 1250 and then i put this uh, this tunic in red because uh, I, I was having a hard time, honestly. Uh, there are currently no listed, or at least when I pulled the data, there was not even a listed tunic on eBay. Unless I was doing something completely wrong. Like, there wasn't even a listed alpha tunic on eBay. There was one on Facebook that, that said pending for $4,000. Uh, but it was in a, a, a list of cards, and lots of cards were all pending. So I don't know exactly what happened in that deal. Uh, but that's the only sold or offered one that I could find this week. Unless I miss something. Again, I, I have missed things before. Just want to say, right now, if I were selling a tunic, I would use that four grand as uh, my, my price point. If I was buying one, I would have to use that as my price point. I am not buying or selling one. So, all in all, we had a huge dip in this, and then we're kind of right back up. So, a bunch of people sold, what happened is a bunch of people sold cards to buy for Monarch, and now they've paid off Monarch, and now they don't need to sell their cards anymore. So, that's my, there it is. That's my opinion. That one was free. You don't have to go to the patron for that one. Although the patrons knew about it. I kept telling them about that. So, all right, let's go to the cold foil. So all in all, your, uh, your legendary cold foil sitting in an average of about $1,900, which is 13% uh, higher in one week. That's incredible. Your regular cold foils, your common cold foils. There were sold listings on every single one of these on eBay other than the iron rot plate. So every single one of these is a sold listing on eBay. You may be able to, you know, some people may have gotten more money for them on Facebook. Some people may have gotten less money for them on Facebook, but I found a sold listing on eBay for every one of them. So that's what I'm using because sometimes the Facebook people who sell on Facebook haven't really done the research. And so they, they underprice stuff. So I, I, I'm trying to find like a public auction, like that's my, my bread and butter public auction on eBay. So uh, all in all, no huge movements. Everything's kind of fluctuating up and down, you know, within 10% of each other. And all that fluctuation is leveling out to about a minus 4% uh, overall. There are cards that are moving up and down. I mean, it just doesn't seem like there's any rhyme to reason. It just seems like whatever, whoever the seller is listing the card at whatever price they feel popular, or maybe it's an auction or, or whatever it is. So all in all, 4% decrease. I did pick up myself where the a Snapdragon Scalers for tonight's live stream, okay? So, uh, cold foil Snapdragon Scalers for tonight's live stream, everybody. Got to bring the, the Cheyenne. I'm playing Cheyenne, so I got to bring... It's like an expensive deck. It's like a $7,000 deck that I'm bringing into the live stream event tonight. So, uh, all right, Majestics, Rainbow Foil. Uh, there were two that are currently listed on uh, on Facebook, sitting at uh, Lord of the Wind at $350 and Glint the Quicksilver sitting at $350. I couldn't find any sold listings anywhere of any of these on Discord, on Facebook, on TCG Player. 
and on eBay, I could not find sold listings this week that were different from sold listings uh, in the last couple weeks. So, but these were listed at 350 bucks. So if you want one of those, those are available right now on, on Facebook. All in all, you know, no real change because there was no, nothing really happened. But the regular Majestics, uh, lots of movement, lots of sales on TCG Player and on eBay that I saw. Uh, things are pretty down, honestly. A lot of things are down. Lord of Wind at 50 is actually up, but a lot of other things are down. And the biggest thing is there are like a bunch of enlightened strikes in the Facebook disc, in the Facebook group, uh, sitting at like 175 on average. So, of uh, I mean that's down 100 bucks from last week. Again, I don't know what's going on. I'm just sharing with you the facts. So, uh, you know, do with that what you want, but down 17 percent if that's the accurate price but I, I they could be scammers putting it at 175 bucks and taking your money i have no clue but that's what they're listing their cards for like whatever so enlightened strike everything's going down on those all right super rare rainbow foils all everything in green is a sold listing that i found or somebody who had an offering at that price uh, that was less than uh, last week's sold listings remember in the last couple of weeks we've had tons of these sell on tcg player so if somebody listed one for less than it sold for on TCG Player, I put that in green. Uh, and if one sold on eBay, I also put that on green. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. Again, uh, one of the biggest things was there's a Sand Sketch plans that sold on eBay for $31. This $150 one, we saw that on TCG Player last week. And remember, I said I don't know what to do with it, right? And so, uh, but $31 sold on on eBay for a Rainbow Foil Sand Sketch plan. So. Kind of crazy. Uh, Stinging Steel played. We saw on Facebook for 70. Again, that sold on TCG Player for 150 last week. But that was a huge outlier. But I, you know, I said that, so I don't really know what to tell you guys. But uh, the person who bought that at $150 probably doesn't feel great this week when they saw it again for 70 bucks. Is what I'm saying. 95 to 81 for the Crazy Brew, and then Remembrance is at the same. All in all, and I mean, keep in mind some big stuff, right? We're down 17%. This is a huge retracement back. So maybe that seller, that buyer who bought those cards was the only person willing to pay that price. And now they've dipped back down. I don't know. I just shared the data with you. All right. And then the super rares, all in all, 9% decrease. Let's see what caused that. Remembrance is down about five bucks. Iron Song is about down about five bucks. I think these, uh, the Singing Steel Blades and the Iron Song were both, they were packs of three cards. You know, they were play sets of three, so I took the average of the card. And that's about it. Uh, Cranial Crush uh, is at 10 bucks. I'm not sure why that one went up. You can probably find that one for cheaper, honestly, but that was a sold listing on eBay. And that's about it. Average Super Rare is sitting around $11.54. I didn't tell you the Rainbow Foil. Average Rainbow Foil is sitting around $60. Let's go to the Rares. Again, one of the biggest things on these Rares is the potions and there are other cards but kind of the potions is what i usually highlight so the potions now this is tcg player low remember this is the lowest listing on tcg player at 175 for the potions on all of them and then the sigil they've got it at 65. i did see one of these sold for a lot more on ebay but this is the tcg love so uh, all in all, sellers have risen their prices by 16% on TCG players. So you can see these are selling for around these prices because if sellers are raising their price, then that means that they are selling cards below it or they're seeing cards sell. So then they end up raising their price. So up 16%. We're just seeing a trending line going up on these rainbow foil rares. People finishing their sets probably. And then the non-foil rares, your average is also up by 16% at $3.76, 79 cents. Common rainbow foils, if you want to sell commons, uh, some of them you can get a lot of money for. Uh, most of them you can't, though. So your average price is um, not moving at about 7 bucks. Remember, this is TCG low, right? These aren't necessarily sold listings, so you might be able to find them for cheaper. You can probably find them on Facebook for cheaper. If you post and you're asking, somebody would probably find them for you and, and sell them to you cheaper. But this is the, the lowest ask that people are asking for. And then I take out any outliers, but... Uh, all in all, you can see the graph there moving back up. And then your average common is uh, is sitting at uh, 70 cents, which is up from last week. Let's go to the EV calculation. Everything still applies. Uh, your total, you know, if you're opening 40 boxes of this somehow, if you're a saint, right, you uh, you can expect that eventually you'll hit around uh, $2,000 if you're selling the commons, everything like that. 
If you are not selling the non-foil commons, you don't want to include that in your value, uh, you're sitting at $1,889.17, and that's the number that we will track here in a second. But if you're only opening one box, you can expect that you won't hit a legendary, you won't hit a fabled, and you won't be able to sell the common cards, the non-foil commons. And so you're sitting at $936.67. So let's compare this 1889 number to last week. That means that these cards are up 8% from this week to last week. And you can see that graph, right? Like we had a dip, but now we're kind of just trending back up two weeks in a row that we've uh, seen an increase. That is Welcome to Wrath. I hope that you have a fantastic night. I hope that you join us on stream uh, from the mo right now. It's in an hour and 43 minutes. So uh, by the time I get this posted, an hour and a half, by the time you watch it, it might be like 20 minutes. So hustle in there. I'll leave the link down in the chat. Sorry, in the... Um, in the uh the comment section and uh, if you're watching this in like three days watch that later and watch us uh watch me get my butt kicked in my shyana deck so hope you have a great day remember to be kind to the people around you